Today I'd like to show you what I think is a better and more intuitive way to program drums in Reaper. This is using a custom action set and toolbar that I created just for this purpose. You can find these files on the Reaper Stash website, which I'll link in the description to the specific post. We're also using Power Drum Kit 2 at PowerDrumKit.com, and this is a completely free drum VST program. But if you're going to use it for an extended period of time, feel free to throw them a couple bucks on the donate button on the right. So we're going to go into the MIDI, the MIDI editor. You're going to right click the toolbar at the top. And we're going to click on import. And I already have these files from the stash on my desktop. So we're going to choose that there. Creates a couple more buttons at the top. I'll explain what those do momentarily. We're also going to go into the action list. We're going to kind of key map, import shortcut key map, another file right there. Now this creates a custom drum mode which we can toggle between with the piano roll. And this allows us to create uh, drum notes in a single click and also displays them as diamonds instead of uh, resizable rectangles. So we're going to load the note names for empty power drum kit. This was a text file that was included in the uh, MT Power Drum Kit zip file. So now we can see at a glance all the different options we have to program different notes here. So let's go ahead and create a quick drum beat. Won't be anything fancy, but just to get us going here. That will probably sound horrible. I mean, it's fine. So, a couple things we can do here. So, the, the buttons up here, we can increase or decrease the velocities in increments of 1 or 10. Sometimes I find grabbing the handles on these notes when the di diamonds are really small. Sometimes it's kind of tedious because there's a very small area where it's going to let you actually grab it and we can increase or de decrease the note values in semitones or in octaves it's, I find it to be more useful if you're working with melodic instruments we can also uh, decrease or increase the the grid size up here I figure it's uh, more convenient to have since it's at the top where all the other other buttons are although usually I have these values mapped to the side buttons on my Razer Death Adder mouse. So, yeah, I, I use these functions pretty constantly, and uh, we can still go back to the standard piano roll to have it function just like we normally would. We can still drag uh, the mouse to create different lengths of notes, which would not be useful to us for drums, but, you know, there it is for everything else. So let me know what you think of this video. Um, this is the second time doing this. There is a older video for when I was demonstrating this with Reaper 5. So anything that I left out is probably going to be in there. But let me know in the comments what you think. And thanks for watching.